Hi, and welcome to another episode of Extension Gardener on the Crystal Coast. I'm so excited. It's been about three weeks since I sent the soil sample in from the vegetable garden to be tested. And my soil test results finally came back. Here's what it looks like. So what we're gonna do is verify first that this is us. We're gonna look up at the top here, verify that that is our name and address, and it is. And then we're going to read the information in between. This is information that's pertinent to whatever the soil samples were that we send in. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different. Sometimes it'll be really short like this. Sometimes it'll be really long, but it will have information in there about the, the fertilizer or the nutrients that you might need. Um, it'll also talk about adding sulfur if you need to lower the pH or adding lime if you need to increase the pH. So make sure that, to read those instructions because they can be very important. Let's take a, a closer look here at the, the information on the, the pH. On our sample here, the pH is 6.8. So it's right there in that, that range where it needs to be. And so they're not adding or recommending any lime be added in order to adjust the pH up. Um, the next thing that we really want to look at is we want to look at the, the phosphorus index and the potassium index or the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium fertilizer recommendations. So that will be over on this side of the, the sample here. And if we take a closer look, we will see here that our phosphorus index is, is pretty high. Our potassium index is right there where it needs to be. And what they're recommending here for the NPK fertilizer recommendations is five pounds per 1,000 square feet of 2100 or group D fertilizer. Okay, what does group D fertilizer mean? If we look on the back of our form, and the back or the last page is usually about the same for almost every fertilizer recommendation. Uh, there might be some different links to different notes and things like that. But this part right here, right down at the bottom, there's a, a table. And let's take a closer look at that table. If we look closely at that table, all the way over to the right side of that table, it says group D, nitrogen only. That's where we are with this right here. So we look at that and we see that there are several different fertilizers there that are high in nitrogen and low in other nutrients or have zero on the other nutrients. And that's what we want. So now comes the fun and exciting part. We get to do some math. As the soil test recommendation says, five pounds of 2100 per 1000 square feet. If you remember, when we looked at the, the soil, at the, the, the vegetable garden, the vegetable garden was shaped like this. It's a raised bed. It was four feet wide and 12 feet long. Ugh. So here comes the math. In order to figure out the area, we take the, the four feet, multiply that by 12 feet, and we get 48 feet squared. That's a whole lot less than a thousand square feet. So what we want to figure out is what percentage of a thousand square feet is this 48 square feet. And in order to do that, we take 1,000 and uh, actually we take the 48, put that inside the thing, divide that, and we get 0 0.48. Or the simple way that my dad taught me when I was in high school was move the decimal point over three points, which is what we did here, and we get 0 0.048, okay? So that's what percentage, well, actually, if we multiply that by 100, we get 4.8%. Um, so 48 feet is 4.8, or 48 square feet is 4.8% of 1,000 square feet. So that's how much we want to apply. We want to apply 4.8% of the five pounds per 1,000 square feet to our 48 square foot bed. So here's some more math for us. We take the five pounds that is recommended and we multiply that by 0.048. Okay, and I'm not very good at doing math in my head so I'm going to pull out my trusty calculator here and I'm going to do that on here. I'm going to 5 times 0 0.048 and we get 
0 0.24. Now I need to convert that because that's in pounds. Okay, so I need to convert that pounds to ounces because my scale that I'm going to be using today only weighs in ounces. And so in order to do that, there are 16 ounces in a pound. So I'm going to multiply that by 0 0.24. And that's going to give me, calculator again, 3.84. Three point eight four. So this is going to be three point eight four ounces, is what I need to measure. Okay, so here I am. I got some fertilizer that I brought in to to give an example. My scale right here weighs in in ounces. So what I want to measure out is three point eight four ounces, just to kind of show you how many ounces that really is when it comes to how much fertilizer I'm going to need to, to put in in that 4 foot by 12 foot bed. Okay, 2, 3.7, 3.8. Okay, so roughly this amount right here, which is just barely enough to cover that, roughly two or three handfuls is all I'm going to need. Okay, now that we've figured out how much fertilizer we actually need to apply to that four foot by 12 foot bed, I'm ready to go and apply that. But if you still have any questions on how to figure out how much fertilizer or what, what the recommendations are, or just have general questions about your soil test report, feel free to give us a call or call your local county extension office. And the way you do that is you put your county name, in our case that's Carteret, C -A -R t-e-r-e-t -E -E dot c-e-s for cooperative extension service dot n-c-s-u dot e-d-u when that page comes up whatever your county is there'll be a phone number on there you can call that phone number and ask them any questions that you have about your soil test report they'll connect you to the right people till next time happy gardening